okay now we will discuss about uh, uh, heat transfer in various processes see now we have already calculated the value of uh, change in internal energy for a means the formula for the internal energy for a gas is known to us we know that uh, d2 is equal to mcv dt this is known to me similarly i have also calculated the value of uh, work transfer for the processes which we discussed like isothermal isochoric isobaric uh reversible adiabatic and polytropic processes yeah. so we have calculated the value of the work transfer in those those processes now we want to calculate what is the value of the heat transfer in all these types of the processes so let us see so first process which i am considering here is a constant volume process constant volume process okay or isochoric process now you know for a isochoric process Uh, once again, let me remind you. I am uh, here talking about PDU work. See, if you see this particular equation, delta Q minus delta W is equal to d u or d. Okay, here it is written as delta W. Now this W could be PDU work. Okay, could be shaft work. Could be some sort of uh, electrical work. Could be uh, flow work. okay could be some other could be magnetic work okay so basically here we are talking about the pdv work only okay so you should always remember that this delta w is uh, for a uh, simple compressible system i am talking about a simple compressible system whenever i am calculating heat transfer here in this uh, topic i am considering that this delta w is only pdv work in a simple compressible system so you know if it is a constant volume process it's a simple compressible system then in that particular case work transfer is given equal to zero this is the pv diagram vertical line either you go from 1 to 2 or you move in the upward direction uh, keeping the volume constant so it's a basically uh, there won't be any work transfer you know about it now let us see what is the gas equation once again pv is equal to mrt now if v is constant i can take this v on the right hand side and t can be brought on the left hand side so i get p by t is equal to mr divided by v so just see for a particular gas the value of m into r will always be constant so this value is already constant and we are saying that it's a constant volume process so whole right hand side will become constant so that means in case of uh, constant volume process p by t will be equal to constant or i can say p is proportional to t and this is actually gay lussac law so it's gay uh, lussac law or i can write it as p1 by t1 is equal to p2 by t2 so basically whenever uh, you are given with the constant volume process you are given with the pressure and temperatures uh, at one point and other point it is not known means three parameters are known and one parameter is not known you can always calculate the fourth parameter or the fourth uh, um, property using this particular equation so what is the value of change in internal energy change in internal energy have only a single equation d u is equal to mcv dt for every process so u2 minus u1 will be given by mcv t2 minus t1 okay so mass is in kgs cv the value is uh, kilojoules per kg kelvin temperature is is considered in kelvin so you can see the value of u will come out to be in kilojoules you can see kg will cancel out from kg kelvin will cancel out from kelvin so we are left with kilojoules only or if i want to write it on uh, uh, in the terms of specific internal energy then i remove the value of m here i am not writing any m here so the unit comes out to be kilojoules per kg so now i want to calculate the heat transfer for this constant volume process from 1 to 2 so from first law of thermodynamics for a closed system undergoing the process i can always write delta q is equal to du plus delta w now this value is zero delta w i have already told you so it gives me delta q is equal to du so what is the value of uh, heat transfer in this particular case heat transfer will be given by mcv t2 minus t1 which is equal to change in internal energy so this is the final value of the heat transfer for a constant volume <coughs> process <coughs> now i go for the constant pressure process isobaric process or isopistic process 
so once again uh, first of all what i will do i will write the equation of uh, work transfer this is the value of the work transfer for a constant pressure process given by p v2 minus p uh, v2 minus v1 which can be written as mr into t2 minus t1 it's quite simple okay you need to remember this actually and once again pv is equal to mrt now p is constant in this particular case so what i will do i will take v by t on the left hand side whereas mr by p is on the right hand side so this all becomes constant so this is a constant term so that means i get the v is proportional to t and v proportional to t is charles law okay charles law so once again if uh, this is the process constant pressure process it is uh, given to me and if i know suppose v1 v2 and t1 so i can always uh, calculate the value of t2 using this particular equation this particular equation okay so this is charles law now the question is what is the value of the heat transfer so w is already given to me w we have already calculated for the from the pdv work equation now change in internal energy change in internal energy once again same formula u2 minus u1 is equal to mcv t2 minus t1 this is the formula so what i can do is i can uh, write this equation from the first law of thermodynamics which is given by delta q is equal to delta w plus d u from this equation when i integrate this equation i write q1 to 2 w1 to 2 plus u2 minus u1 so put the values of w w is p v2 minus v1 u2 minus u1 is m c v t2 minus t1 and this p v2 minus v1 can be written as m r t2 minus t1 so this t2 minus t1 can be taken out of the uh, brackets and m can be taken along with it so m into t2 minus t1 and inside we are left with r plus c v and you remember the uh, equation c p minus c v is equal to r, r. so from there you can uh, write the value of uh, q1 to 2 as mcp t2 minus t1 this is the repetition part and here i have written that equation so the value of heat transfer is equal to mcp t2 minus t1 what is cp cp you know is the specific heat at constant pressure so let us move to the constant uh, temperature process now which is isothermal process also you know for the isothermal process pv uh, temperature is constant i can write the gas equation here okay so from the gas equation because temperature is constant so this right hand side this whole term will become constant so i can write pv is equal to constant and what is this this is boyle's law actually so p is inversely proportional to 1 by v or i can say p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 is equal to constant this is uh, what i can write and this is the uh representation of the constant volume uh, constant temperature process or isothermal process where i can write pv is equal to constant or t is equal to constant okay so once again uh, what will be the change in the internal energy in this particular case in constant temperature process zero zero it would be zero because there is no change in the temperature and the for internal energy if it's a gas we know the formula is mcv in dt and the value of dt come is zero so once dt is zero that means change in internal energy is equal to zero so you can see now what is the value of w for uh, constant temperature process constant temperature process w is given by this particular equation p1 v1 log natural v2 by v1 and this is the value of the u2 minus u1 and we know that this value is zero because t1 is equal to t2 and once again applying the first law of thermodynamics delta q is equal to delta w plus t u d u is zero so we are left with q1 to 2 is equal to w1 to 2 and this equation means the value of w1 to 2 can be put here p1 v1 log v2 by v1 can be written as mr t log v2 by v1 okay or p2 v2 log v2 by v1 mr t log v2 by v1 and so on means you can write this term here as log p1 by p2 also so it is mr t1 or mr t2 multiplied by log natural p1 by p2 or log natural v2 by v1 means any of these can be taken so i hope this is clear to you so three processes we have discussed one more process i will uh, discuss uh, briefly actually now i am coming to uh, this reversible adiabatic process 
when i say reversible adiabatic process you know there is no heat transfer q12 is equal to 0 or delta q value is equal to 0 because it's adiabatic process and in an adiabatic process there is no heat transfer and one more thing it is reversible here okay when i write reversible i have already told you that uh, normally we don't write reversible with the other processes but they are reversible in nature only then we can write all these equations for those processes now what is the meaning of the reversible in case of adiabatic process this is what i have written here no friction with within the system boundary no friction within the system boundary okay because friction makes a process irreversible so if there is friction between the within the system boundary it will make the adiabatic process irreversible so that has been neglected so now let us see i can apply this uh, first law equation delta q is equal to du plus pdv now first uh, you have you must have observed when i am uh, discussing all these processes first i am telling you the relationship between various properties for example if it is a constant temperature process i told you p into v is equal to constant now what similar uh, uh, means uh, uh, equation would be valid in case of adiabatic process you know pv is equal pv raised to power gamma is equal to constant so from where that comes actually so let us see so delta q is equal to du plus pdv i can put the value of delta q as zero so i am left with du plus pdv is equal to zero now what is the value of du it is equal to mcv dt plus pdv is equal to zero now i know this equation if i want a relationship between pressure and volume you know you already know this equation pv is raised to power gamma is equal to constant but how to get it now in this equation you have v here you have t here but i want a relationship between pressure and volume so what i will do i would like to remove this uh, dt from this particular equation now let us see at this equation this is the gas equation ideal gas equation pv is equal to mrt so what i will do i will differentiate this equation i will when i will differentiate this i can initially take p as constant then it, it becomes pv because there is, you will apply a product rule here okay so pdv plus vdp is equal to mr because mr is constant dt so this is the value uh, this is on differentiation on differentiation on differentiation you will get this particular value pdv plus vdp is equal to mr dt so i can calculate the value of dt from here which comes out to be pdv plus vdp divided by mr so let us say this is equation number two and this was my initial equation which was written on the previous slide you can see it here this is the equation i am talking about this particular equation mcv dt plus pdv is equal to zero okay so mcv dt plus pdv is equal to zero this is nothing but this is change in internal energy this is work transfer and this is the value of heat transfer so this is first law equation flt this is first law equation and this is the value of dt so what i will do i will put the value of dt here okay so you can see it here this is the dt and this is first law equation from both these equation what i will do i will put this value of dt here so m cv m cv this is the value of dt now you are putting it here pdv plus vdp divided by mr plus pdv is equal to zero so m and m will cancel out so we are left with cv into pdv plus cv into vdp plus r now this r when we take lcm will this will go here r pdv so now we can take these two terms these two pdv terms this term and this term so pdv is common in both of them so we will get cv plus r pdv plus uh, cv v vdp this term okay so this comes out to be zero so this becomes cp pdv plus cv vdp so cp pdv plus cv vdp so you divide the whole equation by cv so when you divide the whole equation by cv this cp by cv it is a ratio of specific heat, heats becomes gamma pdv plus vdp is equal to zero and then you divide by pv so what will happen p and p will cancel out v and v will cancel out so we are left with gamma dv divided by v 
is equal to dp by p now you integrate this equation so what do you get you integrate and you will get gamma log b minus minus log p plus log c this is a constant value so i can bring it on the left hand side so i will get uh, you know the rules of the logarithms so you will get this particular equation then you can take the anti log on both the sides and you get this particular equation pv raised to power gamma is equal to constant so i think uh, it's two now so this much is sufficient for you i can show you these two slides also here i have uh, calculated the value in terms of tv raised to power gamma minus 1 is equal to constant and here i have calculated in terms of pressure and temperature this is so when you will see the videos you can see the last uh, five minutes and you can read these two okay and you would be able to know the relationship in three terms so these are the three relationships which you need to remember actually pv raised to power gamma is equal to constant tv raised to power gamma minus 1 is equal to constant and p divided by t raised to power gamma over gamma minus 1 is equal to constant so these are the three relationships which are valid in case of e reversible adiabatic process and when you calculate the value of q q you know should come out to be zero so i have uh, calculated we can discuss it in the next class just wait for a minute if you have any questions you can ask Sir, I had some doubts in tutorial sheet.